in our garden. In Our Garden by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Melissa Croton. It's a day, a gray day, a breakfast can wait, don't be late day. I look out my window and see concrete, steps and stoops, sidewalks and streets. Everything is hard and dull, not like where I used to live. Most days I feel gray too. Homesick, my mom says. But today I have an idea, something to make this gray place more like home. Just thinking about it makes me bounce. My idea is soft and bright. My idea is green and orange and red and white. My idea is a garden. A garden, asks Kiana, at school. Why, asks Nico. To grow things, I say, like carrots or cauliflower. Oh, says Nico, I like flowers. He looks down. No, I say, look up. He does, at rooftops and clouds. Kiana shrugs. There's no space, Millie. Gardens can't hang from the sky. I feel gray again until I remember. They see what is. I see what could be. I see a garden. We're in class, science class. What a plant needs besides seeds class. But we don't have plants, just worksheet words. I raise my hand and wave it. We need a garden, I say. I tell everyone how I used to live in a tall building, more than an ocean away. I helped my family grow food on our roof, cabbages, radishes, carrots, and cauliflower, which isn't a flower at all. There's no garden at our new apartment. We don't have the right kind of roof. So we eat store-bought carrots that don't taste like home. I tell them this school has a fine flat roof, a roof made for a garden. No one says anything, not even Miss Morales. Maybe I shouldn't have shared. Maybe in America, gardens only grow on the ground. Then Miss Morales says, to have a garden, we'd need supplies. Suddenly everyone has ideas, seeds, veggies, a fence to keep us safe the world's longest hose. Just like that, I'm bouncing again. But it takes more than ideas to build a garden. Gardens take work, hard work. Lift high and lug, pull and tug work. Parents and neighbors bring piles of supplies. This will be a garden, asks Nico. He can't see it, but I can. Kiana measures, Miss Marilla saws, then we all build. While we work, Principal Blinson talks. She says gardens bring people together. Soon, it's time to plant. Kiana wants cabbages. Nico wants cauliflower. He thinks it will look like a daisy. I choose carrots, of course. Soil spills and water. We all make mud. Everyone laughs, even Miss Morales. I'm not sure if this is togetherness, but it's a start. After weeks of watching, our garden is empty. Come on, carrots, I whisper. Be patient, says Miss Morales. Good things take time. Every day I wish for something green, but there's only brown.
Still, there's plenty to do. We measure sunlight and rain, track the temperature. We spell C-A-B-B-A-G-E, C-A-U-L-I-F-L-O-W-E-R, C-A-R-R-O-T, and read about gardens. Miss Morales talks about roots, sprouts, and germination. She says the seeds in our garden are changing. Maybe I'm changing too. Maybe I'm like our seeds, stuck in new soil, hoping to grow. I've almost given up when I see something. A weed? No. A sprout? Yes. Nico laughs. Kiana cheers. I bounce around and find more sprouts. Miss Morales smiles like she's always known that this was a garden waiting to grow. Check out this garden, our garden. Our high in the sky thought we'd try a garden. Nico pushes a wheelbarrow. Kiana pulls weeds. I water everything and whisper, grow plants, grow. Now everyone wants to see our glorious garden and take some of it home. We fill bags with green and orange and red and white because once plants start growing, they keep right on going. Miss Morales and Principal Blinson hand out vegetables and tell everyone the garden was my idea. I look down, same sidewalk, same street. I look up, same clouds, same sky, but everything's different, everything's better. Kiana grabs a cabbage and sniffs Nico's cauliflower bouquet. I find the sunniest carrot and take a bite. It tastes like home, right here in our garden. The end.